Find the difference in height of mercury columns in two capillaries whose diameters are given. Contact angle is also given. So we know height of the liquid rise in capillary is given by 2s cos theta by rho rg. Here r is the radius of the small capillary. And angle of contact cos theta is given by small r by capital R. So r is again radius of capillary and capital R is the radius of meniscus. So angle of contact is a constant when we know the materials. So in this case it is given to us. It's also given the diameters of the capillary, which means small r is also given. So that's why we have written the formula in the form of h is equal to 2s cos theta by rho rg. The other way of this formula is h is equal to 2s by rho into capital R into g, where capital R is radius of meniscus. But because, but because that is not given to us and theta and small r is given, we are writing the formula in this form. So now because of the so this same same things so this uh, you can see what each of this represents here so h is the height rise in height of the capillary cos theta is this angle so angle this is the contact angle between the surface of the glass and between the surface of the liquid so if this angle is theta this is 90 minus theta so this is also theta so from here you can see cos theta is small r by capital R and this derivation originally we do with h is equal to 2s by rho capital rg so now that we know uh, cos theta is given by this we can arrive at this formula in terms of small r and cos theta so anyway knowing this formula we can directly write the difference in height is 2s cos theta by rho g 1 by r2 minus 1 by r1 so quite obviously if the radius of the capillary is large then height is going to be smaller and if capillary is thin then height of water rise will be higher all right